Okay, as you can see here, we've got a, a Matthews Apex target bow set up with a Toxonix nail driver sight and a classic scope. Now, we're going to teach you how to go through step-by-step -step process and level the sight later on, but we're really going to illustrate the effects of third axis here to you. Now, we've taken and we've already leveled the first and second axis on this sight. And for all intents and purposes, if you look at these two bubbles, they're dead on. Now, that tells you your first and second axis are on. For flat ground, you're probably just fine. You're not going to get any left and rights, okay? But what we're here to illustrate to you is what happens when your third axis is off. Now, we have purposely set the third axis off in this scope to illustrate this to you. Now, we're going to go ahead and tilt this bow back and uh, illustrate a real steep uphill shot. Now, go ahead and zoom in on the level bubbles here, and we're going to show you and follow it through the, through the rotation. And what you'll notice is you'll notice that that Hamsky uh, easy level bubble stays dead in the middle and the scope bubble drifts off to the right. Let's go ahead and show it to you. Okay, you can see the Hamsky easy level right dead in the middle and you can notice that that level bubble in the scope is running way out to the right. Now that's going to cause you some problems. Okay, now you might ask, uh, well, why does that matter? Well, here's what's going to happen. In a real case scenario, you make that steep uphill shot and your bubble's over there to the right. Well, you're naturally going to tip it back over here to the left to get it level. Well, in a sense, what you've done is you've canted your bow. Now, you say, well, what does this, what's that going to do? Well, we're fixing to go outside here and show you exactly what the downrange effects of canning your bow is at 40 yards. Okay, we're outside now and we're about to show you the effects of cant on your downrange impact point. Now, you would cant the bow if your sight level was off and you were trying to get it level back up. Well, if your bubble's off, you cant it back up, you're going to get left and rights. Now, if you look over my shoulder here, we've got a target at 60 yards. Uh, we have a piece of electrical tape hung vertically on it. And we've put it up there with a the level to make sure it's perfectly plumb. We're going to shoot a three-shot group on the tape as we normally would, flat ground, leveled up perfect. We're then going to cant the bow over a full bubble to the right and shoot another three-shot group and show you the impact difference of a full bubble. Okay, let's get to shooting. And cant the bow over a full bubble aiming at the same place to see what our impact point difference is. Okay, now we're down here at the target. And if you look down here at these two different groups of arrows, we've got a group of arrows over here on the tape. As we stated, these were shot with a perfectly level bubble, okay? These three arrows over here were shot with a bubble canted, a full bubble to the right. Now you can see we've got a pretty big disparity between those two groups. If you measure from the center of one group to the center of the next group, you're looking at six and a half to seven inches difference by canning the bubble, a full bubble to the right. Now, to most guys, that, that might, not, might be acceptable. To a target shooter, it's, it's absolutely not acceptable. You, you couldn't win anything if you were missing by that far. Um, but that six and a half inches could climb into 12 inches if you're dealing with other factors like uh, you know, footing and, and wearing lots of clothing and being cold or being excited because you got a, you know, a big trophy bull you know, coming in and, and he's just got you all stirred up. So we really want to take care of the equipment issues first. You know, get our confidence built up that when we put the pin in the middle, it's going to hit in the middle. 